I'm going to go through a few more things that Desmos can do for you in terms of evaluating some statistics. The first thing we always have to do is we always have to tell Desmos our data set. Some of you are using XY tables, which is great. I use the data set with a letter and L has been my favorite letter. So L equals and we start with the square bracket. So two, four, six, eight, ten is going to be my data set. Pretty simple data set, so I close my bracket. This little keypad over here is going to open up this menu. Functions is something that's super helpful. Up here we've got trig functions, stat functions, distribution functions, and miscellaneous. Distribution, that's where you can find your histogram, dot plot, box plot, or you can always type the words. We're going to look at the stats functions here. And so you can see that I could calculate mean, you tell it which set, and it calculates the mean for us. My mean is 6. I could also go into my functions and calculate the median of a list of numbers. It is also 6. Okay, I'm going to get those out of the way here so we can see a little bit better. Let's say you want to find you know, if it's asking you for the five number summary, well, we can look at a list pretty easily and find the minimum and the maximum. We can use the function here to find the median, but we can also use Desmos to find quartile one and quartile three. So if they're asking for the interquartile range, that's the difference Q3 minus Q1. So let's first, so let's type in quartile. So we tell it which set, but you have to tell it which quartile you want. So we put a comma, and I want the first quartile. So the first quartile here would be 3. And then I'm going to do the same thing, quartile L comma 3 for quartile 3. And that is 9. So if the question was asking me for the interquartile range, I would merely take 9 minus 3 to get six. Lesson 112 is going to talk about standard deviation. And standard deviation is a super important statistics number that can tell us a lot about our data. And 112 is going to talk about that. But let me show you with Desmos how it can also calculate standard deviation. So we go to our functions menu. And there are two standard deviations here, STDEV and STDEVP. The P stands for population. We're always finding the standard deviation of our population. So we select that button, tell it which data set you want, and you can see that our standard deviation is approximately 